So hi there, um, my second edition and improvements since the second edition. Now, the original concept for the game was based on a, a game I played as a kid in Ireland, one piece of graph paper and two colored pens, um, each player having a different color pen. Play begins with a player marking the line on the graph paper uh, following the predetermined layout and this is followed by player two marking the line on the graph paper. And this goes on until uh, squares can be filled by each player. To fill a square, you must mark the four sides of the square with your color. And the goal is to, like I said, to fill as many of these squares with your color pen and so win the game. Uh, player two has the same goal as player one. And um, let me play a video showing that right here. So this is the first edition. I like that it's kind of automatic drawing too, to a certain extent as an artist. But uh, back to the game, or my breakdown. So um, after this was done, we discussed the, the first edition. We learned that it was kind of boring, according to the players, and that something similar existed on the App Store and iTunes U. And the, the players also uh, felt that the length of time um, versus um, the change that occurred during the game was not significant and made it that's what made it boring. Um, in the second edition there was a greater improvement in this area. Um, discussing the weaknesses with the players we decided to add two lines and um, we also discussed what to do as far as the edges in the game because some of the edges are uneven. There's sometimes there's half squares, three quarter squares, and the players agreed that um, that would only mean that three of the remaining sides would be need to be filled in order to complete the square. As far as both additions, the engagement of the players was almost instantaneous with the beginning of the game. Um, I found that by adding two lines, the engagement uh, with the players increased um, because they had to think uh, ahead uh, with the extra element of the new line and possibly plan out how to block their opponent during the game, as you will see. Further improvements, um, time. We talked about adding a time limit on the moves, uh, maybe 20 seconds, and if you didn't complete your moves within that time, you'd lose your turn. Apart from that, the players like the second edition, as in it still encouraged deeper thinking, um, but deeper than the the game apps, and that success uh, with my game um, is encouraging and something that I will work to develop um, in this coming week. Here is the second game in action. Wait, does that count? 